How's it going guys? Chris back here again with some more Magic Gathering. Today we are actually in standard ranked. And that's because today is going to be a bit of a a bit of a rant video as opposed to our normal fun happy uh historic brawl content. Like I think normally we're very, very chill. But um I don't know, the BNR announcement came out today. And I will probably upload this video before my video that's supposed to go out on uh, the 7th. To just talk about it a bit because the BNR announcement was the trolliest thing I've ever seen. Man, it is near nonsensical, honestly. So a while back, there was an initiative to revitalize standard. That's what Wizards was calling it at the time. And we're going to cut that down. Uh, and they said in that article, uh, a few weeks after it came out, that there was a standard banning and that they'd be doing the bannings yearly uh, to just keep up with everything, right? Like, and, you know, that, that provides consumer confidence in Magic Gathering as a product. But at the same time, Out. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, at the same time, like we were cautiously optimistic that Standard was going to get a shakeup on October 7th. Because in the banned announcement where they... I don't remember what exactly they banned, but they banned a couple of mono black cards, I think. No, it was Fable and Mirror Breaker in Standard. They were like, we'll see how things shake out at um, on August 7th to just look at things. And the BNR announcement, I kid you not, was we're unbanning Preordain in uh, Modern and we're unbanning uh, Minus Desire in, I think it's Legacy. I think it's Legacy. And that's just crazy, man, because if you look at like MTG Goldfish records for the current stand at metagame, which is... It's not completely accurate all the time, right? It has a reflection of what data is available, basically. Um, and based off that data, Demir, basically, uh, it? it was Demir, Con I don't think it was Demir Control, I think it's Demir Tempo, uh, is uh, like, 40% of the meta in standard. Yildred has literally been a menace since she's been printed. Uh, she forces a bunch of decks out of the format. She makes mono red's life very difficult. Like, standard could have used some changes. Where are my blue sources, by the way? I really wish I had some of them. This is showing off how often I actually play in the queue because... Things are looking grim, aren't they? But back to our rant. Like, standard, it could have used some help. Whatever the help may have been, it could have used at least a little bit of help, right? Like, I'm not expecting big, uh, big changes, but like, maybe hit the best creature and the best, uh, the best removal spell, right? Because black is pretty much in every deck. If you want to play a standard deck, you're playing a black deck. There's one that isn't a black deck. Um, dude, I just killed myself. Oh. Hey. Uh, high graveyard? I don't have a creature in there. Uh, so we just die. That's sad, bro. It's a standard, like... I realize that it probably is fine. Like, standard... We're not in the worst place that we've ever been. Like, that's that's reasonable, right? But then you have other formats, like... Uh, darn, I was hoping they were going to cast on me at the end of the turn so that I could actually, uh, actually get off go for the throw, but I don't think it's going to work. GG opponent. That's it. That's it. You got me. 
Probably should have just played Shieldred. That would have been safer. Although, whatever removal they had, I couldn't guarantee that it was a negate, right? Like, if it was a... If, it was, if they had a bounce spell in hand, Shieldred would have effectively been the same thing. Um, but back to our rant about the BNR. Um, like, modern? Modern, like, it's not a... It's a thing. People play it. Uh, I personally don't play it, but... Based on... And I watch a lot of Magic content, right? And based on the things we've here and, like, the available data that we have... The One Ring and Bowmaster are problems. And that's not to say that, uh... Modern doesn't have problems, right? Already, like... There are cards that you could consider problems. Like, maybe if Wizards had hit some of the other problem cards, other than the Lord of the Rings stuff, uh, they might have gotten, like, a bit of a warmer reception, but... I don't know, man. It's just so weird. It's so weird. Because, on the one hand... Uh... On the one hand, you know, it just doesn't make sense at any level, right? Like, if you're playing Magic the Gathering and you're actually, uh, have to sit through the games, like, you know that, um, we've definitely had better periods of Magic the Gathering. A, we gotta win against Eduardo. Um, like, Standard has been healthier. Modern has definitely been healthier. Historic Brawl has been healthier. Like, all the good Magic formats. Uh, not doing as good as they could, man. And the BNR is just kind of... It's kind of, uh... It's kind of vexing, man, because on the one hand, um, on the one hand, you have wizards claiming that they want to, uh, want to revitalize standard, and that they realize that Wandering and Bowmasters are problematic to some degree, uh, but then they just didn't do anything about it. I wonder... Because Wizard collects its own data on uh, formats and format health, right? Uh, and that's based off of their tournament system, which I don't think is actually a thing anymore. But they still... The bottom line is that they still somehow manage to collect data about what they believe the format looks like, right? And, uh... Black is everywhere, man. Black is everywhere. I don't know. Maybe standard is fine. Uh, let's swing in and maybe we can get a Liliana to clean up. Uh, do it this way. Don't overthink things. T. Pachasaurus Rex MPG. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. Just a little bit disheartening. It's a little bit disheartening. Because on the one hand, it felt like... It felt like the additional year of cards in Standard... Uh, would be okay if... The format was handled properly. But at this rate, I just don't know if it's going to be. Like, my confidence is kind of at a low. I mean, I've already kind of retreated into Historic Brawl anyway, so... That is... It's not as big of an issue for me, but, like... For other people, for the standard players out there... I feel bad, man. See, I'm not playing the actual... The Demir Tempo list. The Demir Tempo list is... 
different than the Demir list that I'm putting up. I will put my list in the in the description anyways, but it's basically all the most played cards in standard. Uh, the Demir Tempo list uses a different creature suite. It uses the one drop. You know, the one drop that uh, Brexian Sleeper. It uses that and um, might run a different number of shielders and it might run a different number of uh, no attack. What does Drafty Boy do? It helps Rexians. I see, I see. Maybe we can just sit here behind a shieldred and win that way. It's possible, man. It's certainly possible. I don't really want to win by sitting here behind a shieldred, but like if I have to, man, I will. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, how's my graveyard looking? Yeah, we'll eat a shieldred. We won't attack. I mean, if they can't remove it, it will just win the game. And this is part of the reason why I believe that something probably should have been done about shieldred. It's not that she's overpowered, like, she... She makes the mid-range happen, right? And... Uh, casualty 1. Does that even help? It doesn't. Uh, and that doesn't help at all, either. Make disappear. Bad stuff. Am I just dead? Or is it if they attack, they just die? It might be the other way around. I don't know. Or... It's 12. Yeah, no, I'm dead. I'm dead in the water. I can't do anything about it. I have to block. I have to double block. And I probably double block a lord. Because of menace. She's menacing, I know. Neat stuff. Let's get rid of that lord. Yeah, like... Sh Shielded probably should have been dealt with, honestly. Um... Because he's letting me win a game I have no business winning. I think it's probably the bar for... Uh, whether or not a card should be dealt with. This is the fourth copy, friend. Would you slow your god tier rolls, bro? They are legitimately god tier at drawing. T, Machosaurus, Rex, MTG. Like, that is some insane amount of draw. Did I lose because I was too patient? Maybe? I guess it's 7 damage, they have to block or they die. We go up to seven. We might draw a removal spell. We didn't, but you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm getting into the mood of playing the game. Like it's cooling off now, man. It's cooling off. Uh, but like, come on, wizards. Feels like you didn't really curate any of the formats.
And I guess this is it, bro. Graveyard to the battlefield? Like, if they had done that, they would have just won. If they lose in the current setup, I don't know, man. You were good at drawing, man, but I don't know some of the lines. Yeah, it's just a little bit messed up, mate. It's a little bit messed up. I hope the new audio is good. Uh, I will check it to make sure that it doesn't cut out too terribly, because... It was cutting out last time I checked, and I might have just reported this all for nothing, but I did, so what, you know? So what? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, opponent. GG. Uh, going out on your own terms, they can respect it, but either way, that's some rambly thoughts about our current state of magic gathering. Uh, we might do more standard like this if more thoughts come up. I don't know, I want to see standard come back to life and be a thing again, but I have no confidence that, that will happen at this point either way thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy remember to leave a like subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time bye for now